I'm not even gonna say alrighty because I just woke up, I have not had my iced coffee, and I am just now in a miserable mood. I'm not actually in a miserable mood, I'm still happy, um, but I am pissed off. I'm sure all of you know by now that the uh, John Tory of Toronto has announced that all events and fairs are cancelled up to September 6th. And to me, this absolutely is crazy and doesn't make sense. I get that there's people all on, on all different sides of the spectrum in terms of lockdowns and safety and all that. And trust me, you will see me wearing a mask well past the um, CDC suggesting uh, not having to wear one anymore. And I will keep my distance. I will get my vaccine shot. The minute I'm able to get my second dose, I will get my second dose. But lockdowns are crossing a line. They are crossing a line, and the, the the length of cancellations and lockdowns is crossing a line. If we're losing the CNE and other events up until September 6th, that's absolutely insane. Our federal government has told us that we can travel abroad internationally without zero restrictions upon return this summer. So if we're able to go to the United States or go to the United Kingdom or go anywhere in the world, and come back with no restrictions, no testing, no quarantining. But we can't even go to our own domestic events here in Toronto, here in Ontario, here in Canada. That makes absolutely zero sense. What does that say about you as a government? So we can go abroad, come back, but we can't go to the CNE. We can't go to Canada's Wonderland. We can't go to our next door neighbor's house. We can't go to the Quebec. We can't, like, what are you thinking? And on top of that, okay, let's take percentage numbers um, into into the equation here. Most places started relaxing COVID measures and opening up at around 40%, and we still saw a decline in cases. Furthermore, at around 50% vaccination rate, first dose as well, in the United States, COVID cases dropped significantly. Significantly. So with that in mind, um, and uh, uh, Canada at 42% as of yesterday, vaccination rate, and Ontario approaching, I think, uh, 50%. I think they're at like 45% right now. Fact check me all you want in the comment section. Um, and our Ford, the Ford government is telling us that we'll be at 65% by the end of May. Now, mathematically, me doing the math, I think we're actually going to be around 55% to 60% by the end of May. I don't see how the 65% will work. But regardless, we're going to be well over that 50% line at the end of May. So restrictions need to start easing. We are losing businesses. We just, I, it was just announced that we're losing inter-federal um, travel with, um, what was it, Greyhound. Okay, Greyhound is a very important service for those that can't afford the train um, or don't have money for a car. Um, it's it's extremely important service for First Nations and on top of that, the CNE is saying they don't know if they can survive. They're now $70 million uh, in debt with this announcement. So they're saying they are going to have to reassess their financials in order to see if they can survive with this two years of not going. And there are a lot more businesses that are leaving Canada. You have Disney Canada pulling out their stores, um, whether that be from COVID or not. This is just the final um, straw that broke the camel's back. Um, it's just really scary. And we're going to see a lot of businesses, the longer these lockdowns go, announce they're leaving Canada or ceasing operations in Canada or just those family-owned businesses not being able to survive. It's gone too long. It made sense, and I was 100% on board science-wise for a very long time. But it doesn't make sense to continue this. And what sucks the most is knowing coming out of the lockdown on June 2nd or two weeks after June 2nd, whatever our government decides to do, it's going to be a phased reopening. It's going to be a really slow phased reopening and it's going to be annoying. It's going to be like, okay, you can go see your neighbors now. You can get into bubbles of five. You can get into bubbles of 10 four weeks later. You can get into bubbles of 15 or 20. But places like Canada's Wonderland will be punished as usual, regardless of having the safest safety measures you can possibly imagine that you've ever seen in Ontario or Canada. Literally, if you read their safety plan, it is the safest place ever. Um, oh, man, I don't even think I, <laughs> I took a breath of air during that whole rant there. I'm just obviously like I'm frustrated. 
it doesn't make sense based off of what we've seen, based off of the promises our government is making, it doesn't make sense. Scientifically, I am in favor of science and the health officials. And yes, maybe extending the lockdown till June 2nd works. But with the vaccination numbers that we are being promised, opening everything up or opening everything up within a four week period after lockdown should be the case. We should be exactly like the rest of the world with vaccination numbers, okay? We are catching up to the United States in terms of population vaccinated. And their cases are 35,000 per day. That means the average state is pulling around less than 1,000 per state, okay? That's crazy. So that was after they crossed the 50% line. We're about to cross that 50% line in Ontario. So we should start to see numbers dropping like that, meaning... Are we going to get to see the same thing? Are all businesses going to be allowed to open? And then after a certain amount of time, are all businesses going to lose those restrictions? Are you going to be forced to wear a mask or not? It just seems like this is going to go on way too long here in uh, Canada and Ontario. And we're not being given dates. We're not being given a plan. We're not being told anything. And it's just so frustrating. Like, tell us anything. Give us some sort of okay, our goal, this is our vaccination numbers. Mathematically, this is where we're going to be at this date, which means based off of what we've seen around the world, we'll be able to relax some restrictions in this sort of format. Here's our plan. Um, this is what's going to be allowed to open. This is what's not going to be allowed to open, or this is what you're going to have to do to open to meet the new requirements. Anything. Like, they're locking us in our homes, and we're allowed to go out for exercise, but we're still, like, Mentally, this is not the same. Some people will argue, well, you're not being locked in your home. Yes, you technically are. Mentally, it is literally being locked in your home. The families with like three children, four children, it has to be like detrimental to your mental health, okay? Being locked up, nothing to do other than go out for a bike ride or walk every day, doing the same thing, seeing the same things. It gets old. Mentally, it's draining. Um... Yes, I understand there are two sides to the argument. There are people who really like this and feel safe like this. But those people who do not want to go out and do things, you do not have to go out and do things. You can stay in your house by choice and still have these benefits up until September by the federal government. But for those of us who are vaccinated, okay, we are now crossing a majority of the population that is vaccinated, can start to go out and boost the economy again. We can start to go out and drive business to those small businesses in our local towns. Um, we can start driving business by traveling uh, interprovincially. It just doesn't make sense. These promises the government keep promising us don't add up. So we can, we can travel anywhere in the world, but we can't even do anything domestically by this summer, according to what we're seeing so far. Explain it to me. Anyone. I'm, I'm open ears. I'm, I know I'm ranting and it sounds like I'm angry, but if you're on the opposite side of the spectrum, comment down below. Um, and honestly, I'm open to debate. I'm not going to get angry. It's a, it's a, it'll be a very good conversation, I promise, um, as long as you're polite. But I'm just, I'm just over it. I'm sure most of you guys are. And uh, yeah, I'll wear my mask. I'll get my vaccine. No social distance. But I want some of my freedom back. I want it back. Anyways, I hope this rant didn't piss anyone off. I know it's such a touchy subject and everyone's on different sides of the spectrum with this argument. And you know that I've been very in favor of lockdowns and vaccines and all that. But for me, it's just crossed a line. We've gotten to the point where we need, we need answers and we need dates and we need action. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Stay sane. It's my new catchphrase. I say it at work as well. Stay sane, stay safe, um, and get vaccinated. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.